Hey guys, today we're going to script a bike with the HQCC scripts. We're going to go right through the bike from scripting it to changing the engine sound, setting up the passenger pose, everything like that today. So what we'll do is we'll get started. Now I've already got the bike set up here. Now one of the first most important things you want to do with your bike when you're, you're getting ready to script your bike is make sure that your bike is facing east. Okay, now that'll stop it from falling over and riding sideways and all the, all the weird and wonderful things that can happen to them once they're scripted. Now, next thing we want to do um, is we want to name our headlight and our brake light, okay, so that once it's uh, scripted, that'll, they'll, they'll both work with the scripts. So what I'm going to do for that, I'm going to just right click on the bike, I'm going to go edit link parts, and I'm going to rename that, uh, I'll just grab it up here, okay, and it's called, we're going to call the first one headlight, okay, control, copy, I'm just going to move that there. Headlight. Okay, then we're going to move to the back of the bike. Now today I'm just going to use this number plate and I'm going to call it for as a brake light. Brake light. Okay. Alright, so now we've named our headlight and our brake light. Now next thing we'd, we'd normally do is we'd set up a root prim. How we do that is I'd create a sphere like so. Now I'll stretch it, make it a bit smaller. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure it's lined up in the center of the bike. So I'd go objects, I'd go control Y on the position, control copy, and then I'll paste the, those numbers in. So now I know it's exactly in the middle of the bike there. Now what I like to do is I usually position it in the middle of my seat, the root prim. Okay, and, uh, and then yeah. What we're going to do now is when you've read the root prim, what you're going to notice down here in your rotation in your build window is that it's z 0, 90 and then 0. What you need is it to be 0, 0, 0 rotation. So I'm just going to change that 90 to a 0 as well. Then we go over to the general tab. We'd name it Old Rusty because that's the name of the bike. And we want to make sure that it's got co its full perm as well. So we're going to click modify, copy and resell down there. Now what we do is we'll highlight the bike, okay, like so. And then we click that root prim last, all right? And then we would link the bike together. So I'll just go link, okay? Now, see the yellow one? That yellow one down, the yellow means that that's our root prim and that's the main prim for our bike. Now, what I'm gonna do today though, is I'm not gonna use the root prim, I'm actually gonna use the tank. The reason I'm doing that is because, I'll just delete that root prim there. This tank, hang on, uh, there. You can see it's set to zero, zero, zero rotation. So you don't have to have that separate root prim. You can use another part on the bike for your root prim. So what I'm going to do for that now, I'm just going to unlink my whole bike. Okay, I'm going to out-click it, then I'm going to click it again, and then unlink it. Okay, so you see now, that's my root prim. Now, I'm going to make sure it's called Old Rusty. Okay, and it is full perm as well. All right. So now we're ready to start uh, putting some scripts into the bike. Okay, so we'll bring up this. So what we want to do is we want to go to our contents tab. I'll go to my inventory. Now, before we actually get into scripting the bike, I'm just going to show you this. Now, with the scripts you, 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 you received, you'll get a generic drive pose, a bitch sit pose, and a HQCC idle pose, okay? So I'm just going to show you this. Um, if I go play in world, now you can see this pose here. Now, that's not really going to suit this bike. All right, so what I've done is I've actually had my own po poses made. Oh, not that one. We want ride. And so you can see there. So that's the ride pose I had made for this bike. All right, so what we do is we want to rename the poses to the same as what the poses are named in the bike. So we'll go rename. Uh, where is it? And I'll go control copy so I get the exact name of it. Now I'm going to change that, rename that one and ride is now called generic drive. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with bitch sit. I'll rename, control copy. Passenger, where are rename? I'm going to go control paste. Okay. And then we've got HQC, so rename, control copy. And is rename control paste. So now I've got the exact same same ones in the bike now. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on the bike, 
into the contents menu. Now I'm going to put in there the HQCC sit idle and the drive generic. Now they're the first two poses I'm going to put in. I'm not going to put the bitch sit in there because that's going to go in another place which I'm going to show you a bit later on. Okay, now next thing we're going to do is we come to this page, uh, come to the main scripts we're going to put in. Now first we want to put in the fixed bike, so we'll put that one in. Okay, then we've got the HQ AV sit adjust, so we're going to drop that one in. Then next one we're going to put in is the HQ dialog, optional replacement for the texture, so we're going to put that in there now. The next one we'll be putting is the HQ Industries main. main. Okay, now after the HQ Industries main, the next one we're going to go down to is we're going to just go down here and we're going to start putting some sounds in. So we've got the HQ gear change, we have kick it, open it up, and now these are all sounds. Rum belt, and run. Okay, so okay, so they got all that. Now they're all the scripts and uh, sounds and uh, poses that we're going to put into the main root prim. Okay, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the front of the bike to the front wheel. Now into the front rim, we're going to put in the uh, HQ Biker Industries rim script rim spin script, so we'll put that in there. Now in the front tyre we're going to put in the HQ Biker Industries tyre rotate, so we'll put that in there. Okay, now you see how he's dropped down the side there. These tyres were sculpted at 0, 0, 0 rotation originally, so it makes it really easy when the parts are sculpted at the right rotation. Okay, now we're going to move to the back, because as you can see, it's fixed in two seconds. Now, first of all we're going to start with the back rim. Once again, we're going to put in the HQ Industries rim script. Okay, then we've got the tyre. Now, in the tyre, we're going to put a couple of scripts. This time, we're going to put the HQ script uh, burnout script linked. So we'll put that one in. I'm going to put in the uh, where are you? For this, um, just so that you know, I'm just going to put the. I, I wouldn't usually use this, but I'm going to put this in anyway. It's a HQ biker speedo. So we'll put that in the speed work in the so that's how you can see your speed. Okay, we're also going to put in the HQ industry tire rotate script. And as you can see, it's done the same thing again, um, flipping to the sides. So we're just going to fix that rotation up again. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, now the next one we're going to look at is this little blue prim down here. Now this little blue prim is my exhaust. Um, so I'm going to put the exhaust HQ Industries exhaust script in there. Okay, and now I've got, uh, I'm going to put in the, this red one. Now this red one is for my passenger. Okay, this is what the passenger seat is. So first we're going to put in the passenger script, so HQ passenger sit. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to go up and we're going to put in our bitch sit into that part of the bike. Okay, all right. Now, I've got that sort of all scripted, so she's all sort of scripted already. So now let's jump on and just make sure it's all running right. Now you can see I'm obviously sitting in the wrong spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to go sit adjust. We're going to go position. And X. Oh, not X. Oh, there we go. This one here. We're going to go minus X. The other thing I want to look at is my root prim and see where that smoke's blowing to. So I'm going to click on that. Sorry, not root prim, the exhaust. And I'm going to go. Oh, no, that's going to be okay, I think. Right, so now let's take it for a ride, make sure it's still running right. Alright, 
so that's running fine now. Yeah, see she's smoking, everything like that. Alright, now let's go and uh, put our passenger on. See if uh, we can get Biker Babe to come over and um, jump on the back. Sometimes you'll find if your poses aren't correctly made correctly, they'll they'll be a bit off like that. Okay, so we'll get her off again. Now the other thing you notice every time she jumps on and off, she's uh, she's the bike starting. Okay, so what you want to do for that to stop that from happening is just have a have your passenger sit on the bike first. Okay, like so, and then you hop on. Go for a ride. So there we go. So now my passenger's on. All good and happy. You can see the little speedos working there as well. We're not going too fast, but okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna jump off here again. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm all back set. Now, I don't really like the sounds that I was just listening to in the bike. I'd prefer to have some, some nicer sounds, do you know what I mean? So what we're going to do, we're going to open it back up, and we're going to have a look here. Now, these are our sounds between here and here. Okay, so we'll, we'll go back into our inventory. And I've got some sounds here ready to go for us. So what I've got is some Harley sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename uh, some of these sounds and then we're going to change them over into so the So first of all, I've got this, uh, I'm going to use the run, this one here. And the one I'm going to use for run will be the twin ride. So I'm going to rename that. Run uh, N. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the idle, which is the V-twin idle. Which is going to be... No, oh, which one is it? One, control, copy, control B. Okay, and next we've got the uh, open it, open it up, which is accelerate. So rename, control, copy, accelerate, rename, control B. All right, now let's take these three out of here. We'll delete them straight from the bike. And let's replace them with these guys. And that one. Now, while we've got this here open, what I'm going to do is that prim which we're using for the uh, for the back here. Okay, I'm going to go to texture. Now I've got a transparent texture here, so I'm just going to drop that on there. And I'll get rid of that colour, some of white select there. Okay, and also for the smoker prim as well, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do that one, I'm going to drop a transparent on there. So you can go white, select. Okay, now let's jump on the bike. Okay, so you can hear the difference now, eh? So that's how you script the bike. Oh, reverse. This is how you script the bike, change the sounds, add a passenger pose, and everything, all to the one bike, and put your passenger on. 
and yeah, so look, I hope you enjoy the scripts. That, as I said, they are a pretty easy script to use. Just remember that when you are doing bikes, you know, uh, you can use 32 prims, and that's the maximum you can use. Um, other than that, you have to go to a high prim, use a uh, high prim vehicle script with the main script as well. Alright guys, well look, I just want to say thanks for that. Uh, thanks for everything, and uh, good luck.